I get to ramble on now? Uh, let's go on to Megavolt. Over here in the warehouse. Our electric guy, which I don't think actually Batman really had, necessarily. Like, uh... He's equivalent to, like, the Shocker from Spider-Man. Would probably be the best way to put him. I guess. He has the power of electricity, and he can talk to refrigerators and toasters and weird stuff like that. That's the Goofy Dizzy take on it. Okay, I knew that guy was gonna run off the edge at some point. I didn't want him running off the edge towards the hooks. Uh, chances are the go is up here. Yes, it is. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's get some free lives. Cause you guys enjoy seeing these so much. I know. Hey, free life! Cool. Don't need the gas. Free life! Cool. Points. Unnecessary, irrelevant, excessive. Yes, I don't need. Yes, I don't need. Yes, I don't need. Hard, I don't need. Hard, I don't need. Points. Gas. Ugh, everything I don't need. Why am I even. I should just, like, point these out and be like, hey, there's a mini mission. I don't need it. Go. If you do, if you do. Okay, I'm up to six lives. Ugh. You can only do the missions once. Also, like, if I try. I'll get up there and... See that guy's going off. Yeah, see, it's not gonna come back again. You can only do him once. Oh, well. I mean, that's, that'd be pretty excessive. You could do him multiple times. Just repeat him over and over and over and over and over. Drop. Nope. Gotta jump. Gotta jump, gotta jump. Down and A. Irrelevant. It's a little tricky because there's a lot of jumping, like about as much jumping as uh, Quackerjack's place, and I don't have as much experience to practice. Uh, come on, come on out, Genie. Come on out. There we go. Heavy gas works all right for those guys, so then it's easier to dodge their fire. But other than that, it's like one of the very few practical applications of heavy gas. Yeah, I got him fast enough. Get out of here, we go. Yeah, I knew there'd be another one. There we go, three heads. Just gotta be quick enough. Ah, jump right into it. Oh my god! Hit it, thank you. He didn't spawn back, okay, good. Oh, okay. That guy's not gonna spawn back. Oh shoot, he jumps up here! Hold on, I can't, I can't. I can't risk that. You know... I don't think that fire could be blocked by the cape. That'd probably just be gross if it could. Alright, dodge it. Did we try it? Ah, I got it. Well, that's what I was hoping for anyway. I don't know why there'd be genies and magic carpets and stuff in a warehouse. I have to figure that one out. Those things look like you could step on them, but those are just pipes in the background. Do not actually try to step on them. Weird listening to the music get cut out like this. Good old NES capabilities for channels. Whoosh! Whoosh! Right at me. Screw you! Ducky, 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 duck. We're almost there. Good old Megavolt. Voiced by Dan Castanella. The Castanatella. Castellanetta. I'm gonna keep mixing that up. The N goes second. The L first, and then I died anyway. Castellanetta. Which is another name that you probably may not recognize, except for one very, 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 very specific cartoon that he does voice for. I mean, like, he's done... 
he's basically become like the go-to Robin Williams replacement. Cause he's done like he did the voice of uh of um what's his name? Um Raymon. Ramon? Ramon from uh Happy Feet. And uh he was the voice of the genie from the Aladdin cartoon series. Uh he he did I did not realize this until uh I was looking this up. He was the voice of Grandpa Phil from Hey Arnold. That was a cool thing to have. Also, there was the voice of, like, uh, of, uh, Earthworm Jim from the Earthworm Jim cartoon. Uh, he does the devil from Futurama. But really, if anything, you would know him from, uh, The Simpsons. He is the voice of Mr. Homer Simpson. Die! Thank you. If anything, that's where you would know him, which is it's funny, because he already is with us really kind of sloppy, convoluted kind of voice. And then you get to hear him be all, you know, all swap crazy and really deep and not always what is going on everywhere. Robin Williams up, and then just like, Grandpa, Grandpa Phil, that, that's the funny part. That's the funniest one to me. Oh good, health, right before the boss, because I need it. Yes. Here he is. Ow, shoot. I just walked right into that, didn't I? Yeah, because I'm dumb. I can't block those. Oh, he's going to drop it. That's right. Okay. Try to remember how this boss goes. I'll just hang out here. I'm going to send it up, and then I just run to the other side. Okay. I just had to remember his pattern, because it's been forever. It's been so long since I fought this guy. I didn't fight him nowhere near as long as I fought in, you know, Wolf Dog or Quack Jack. The first tier guys, you know, when you're little, those are the guys you always end up fighting. You never get up to the tier 2 guys until, you know, you finally get your game genie going. There we go. First try. I can dig it. Ugh. Man, I really put it, should have put these tea leaves in a strainer. Now I'm getting towards the bottom of my cup. Ugh. I'm an idiot. Okay. 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 Shut up, Launchpad. <laughs> Launchpad. Voiced by Terrence McGovern. Who is somebody you wouldn't really hear much. Yeah. He hasn't done very much. Like, he was another Transformers alumni. Um, he, he does, uh... He covers for Richard Bright. He's like a cheap version of him for the Godfather games from not too long ago. Um, from Mrs. Doubtfire going along with another, uh, uh, um, what's the, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, Robin Williams, there we go, I'm trying to figure out what I'm saying. He was, uh, ADR director Lou from the beginning section when they are doing the, the, uh, cartoons, and he, Robin Williams was, like, taking a stand about the smoking and stuff. Uh, that was probably his most famous part, although you... Probably know him more as the voice of Larry from The Walking Dead. The Telltale version of Walking Dead. That game. Which I. That was another voice that I thought was a hoot to discover. I didn't even think of that. Um. Oh, I can't even reach over there. What's the point of putting the go sign back that far? Right? Yeah. Again, I really don't need to go, it's just for show. There it is, okay. So that's, if you need to go, if you need to go for a bonus round, that's where you would go. When you're downtown, everything's great when you're downtown. Robot Dog, it's very fitting for Moliarty stage. The robot mechanic mole. Oh, come on, you can drop like that. He only appeared in a couple episodes, another minor enemy. But you know, he was not an agent of Fowl. He actually lived with his own mole people who lived on the ground underneath St. Canard. He was always trying to come up and ruin, you know, the city in complete darkness and whatever. Or, you know, so his mole people could come up. So they could tolerate the light. The lack of light. And so on. I, I always thought he was interesting, but I didn't... That was one of the few things that I w wasn't really fond of. The way that Dark and Duck would always make fun of him because he always call him 
names like short stuff and things like that, and, you know, being a man of short stature myself, I did not really appreciate that kind of talk coming from the lips of someone who I really looked up to as a kid. Yeah. So think about that the next time you start making jokes about people. Mm hmm You may be somebody's hero, somebody's mentor, somebody's inspiration. Don't mess it up by being a jerk. Ugh. Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck was still cool otherwise. He had the whole Nega Duck persona, his bizarro version of him. He was a super villain. Voiced by Jim Cummings as well. Just, you know, a little bit angrier and grittier. You're dead now. Actually, haha! <laughs> Not even think about it. Oh, I wonder if there's something over there. You think there's something over there? Gotta be something over there, right? I think there would be. Uh, if I could even get that ring. Uh, anyway, I was laughing because uh, Jim Cummings does the voice of Moliarty as well from, that, from uh, the show. Which is another voice that you wouldn't expect to hear from his head. Oh, you know who else we haven't heard talked about is uh, the voice of uh, Goslin. Goslin Waddlemeyer Mallard. Her birth name, adopted name. Because, you know, Darkwing Duck's alter ego is Drake Mallard. <laughs> He's basically just a Duck Duck. Darkwing Duck's name is literally Duck Duck. Drake Mallard. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, anyway, yeah, so he adopt his adopted daughter we picked up from the orphanage when she was getting into trouble with, uh, Taurus Bulba. Yes, I actually remember the pilot. I remember watching some of the episodes of the first season several years, or maybe a year, year and a half ago. Yeah, several months. Yeah, it's a lot more than several months there, Dave. Good work. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Taurus Bulba. Mob work, and she got caught up with it with her with her uh, grandfather's name and will and stuff that he had made. Taurus Bulba was trying to get it. I think it was a vacuum of some sort, or no? Because that would probably be closer. That would be closer related to Ammonia Pine, which I liked her. I was disappointed that she only had a couple episodes, and they were all, like, from the first one or two seasons. I thought she was funny. Especially in one of the episodes when she's, like, getting into cahoots with Steelbeak. And, uh, she's, like, falling for him, and he's trying to get rid of her, and it does come off as very creepy. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, the other go has got to be around here somewhere. Because we're well beyond the halfway point. Oh, you went to the other side. Okay, you know, I guess it's not here. Like I said, it doesn't really matter much, because, uh... There we go. Got him to spit it on the right side, at least. Uh, should be a health kit. Yep, and a free life. And we have Aerogas! It'll stay out when we use it. Yeah, if you didn't realize, Aerogas takes three bullets, which can be a downside to using it over Thunder Gas and Heavy Gas. But really... Just the mobility that it has, as well as actually doing more damage, just makes it... It makes it worth it, easily. To just keep her and hang around to for a while. Nope. Oh! Whoa, really? I fell. Oh well. Uh... So Gosselin Wildmire Mallard. Uh... Her... voice actress voiceover artist, whatever. It's, uh, Christine Cannabon. Cavanaugh. Cavanaugh. Cabana? Cavanaugh. Oh, I want to say Cannabon. Because I had a math teacher with the name Cannabon. Will you just stop? Oh my god. Wow. Talking and playing games at the same time. Critical failure. Good jerk. Good jerk. Moron. Good jerk, yeah. Good work, jerk. Dumbo. There we go. Stupid, weird, little short hop bull crap. Nonsense malarkey. How's that for your two dollar word? Malarkey. Alright, so I'm gonna kill these turtles instead. There we go. So, Christine Cavanaugh. I'm guessing that's how you say her name. Um, she was another Sonic Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog alumni. Voice of Bunny Rabot. From way back when. The 
rabbit that was half robot and had an IE in her name, Bunny, because, you know, it was cute, whatever. I don't know why. It just is. Go with it. You're gonna die too. Uh, she was the original voice of Dexter from Dexter's Lab. Uh, I think she was having trouble getting with the voice after some time and had to give it up. If I remember correctly, I don't know. You can probably listen to one of Rob Paulson's podcasts that had uh, the girl who replaced her on it. Um, really, you, you'd most if you want to imagine Goslin's voice, if you've never seen the show, just imagine Chucky from Rugrats. Except with a little less slur. Geekiness, kind of. Oh, oh, good. Thank you. Ugh, Moliarty. This guy is a complete dick! This guy is the second hardest boss in this game, by far. Well, I wouldn't say by far, necessarily. He's just... Ah, okay. Oh. Ah, of course I can't fuck into that one. Oh, oh, come on! Throw your wrench, throw your wrench. I know you want to throw your wrench. There he goes. There's just so much projectiles coming in so many different directions. And you're not actually hitting him. And I apparently can't duck underneath those fireballs. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna let him run around up top for a bit. Why does not drop on my head? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and break something up here. Okay. See, it only takes me like, you know, 20 some odd years to figure out a pattern for fighting him. Ugh. He was right on top of me. I was like, I don't want to drop down because it's going to be a while to get back up again, but I didn't want to jump because I know he'd be right there. Break it. Thank you. Ow! Cheese and crow. I'm just gonna die from everything. You know what? Let's. That's why we got the arrows. Okay. Okay, gotta make sure he's not underneath me, and then I get hit by the fireball anyway, because I don't know how to. My left button works. Bosses like him are one of the good reasons why you should always have arrows. You can at least do the extra damage. I mean, you can hit, actually hit them. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. How many more until I get a game over? Let me try this again. Two, okay. I can do this, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Nope! I'm just gonna let him run into me and then I'm gonna die. There's his wrench! Damn it! See, you can't. Ugh. See, at least like with Quacker Jack, you can just avoid the. Sh that was being flung at you. It was easy enough to dodge, and you can still hit him in passing. But you can't hit this guy in passing because you can't pass him. Oh, okay, there we go. He's not. Okay, good. Ah. Oh. oh. Oh, I wanted to see if I could hit him with an arrow before the branch hit me. And then I forgot about the fire anyway. Oh my god, I can't duck where it's... Oh, ducking goes a dangerous... Wow, I'm dead. I knew it. I just... I knew there was no way I could handle it. Wow, already? Holy sh... Well, I guess we could cut out a bitch with this. A bunch of this. Yeah, bitch. Right back to the beginning. All right. No gas, three lives. Alright, I definitely need my goes. Alright, so that's when you would use them. I'll see you guys back at the Moliarty guy again. Son of a bitch. And I'll reset 
wasted all my points, too! Alright, we're back. Let's see how bad we were gonna do. Okay, so... Okay, good. Nope, not good. Oh, come on. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not gonna be too terrible. There we go! So you just take six hits of the arrow shot, and it normally would take like 12 normal pellets. There we go! Oh my god! Skin of my teeth! Oh, I knew it! Oh, that was irritating. Well, I'm glad we at least call that a video. Later!